Thomas wasn't at the gate, and Ray fought like a wildcat. He barely made it out of there alive. He was out of his mind and still out for blood. So I told him the secret of the medallion. I figured it was a fairy tale, but at least it would keep him busy. But it was true. It was real. The medallion led us to the entrance of an ancient vault. The door was already open, and I suspected why. Thomas. Somehow I just knew. I followed the faint light through a passage constructed centuries ago. It was right then and there I made up my mind. I knew what I had to do. I had to save my brothers. Dang, that place is huge. Holy crap. So this is where all the gold is, huh? Hey, look at all that gold. Holy crap, they'll be rich for life. If not forever. <laughs> He's like, um... Ray's like, dude, where's that son of a bitch went? That piece of shit. How dare he? Like Willem's like, calm down, calm down. We'll, we'll get to him. <laughs> all right. So spiral case, staircase, all the way to. Oh shoot! What is this? Holy crap! Oh, see, there you go. There they are. All this gold for us. Let's go. He's like, ah, we don't know what to do. You, Thomas, I told you what would happen if you stole another woman from me. William? You said he was dead. That is what Juan said. I told you what I would do. Didn't I tell you? Uh-oh. Thomas, don't. He'll kill you. I loved you and you lied to me. Both of you. You betrayed me. What do you want from me, Ray? I want justice. Oh my god. I wanted so desperately to lead my lost brothers towards the light of the Lord. But I failed us all. And now my brothers are mortal enemies. Why? For what? A woman? Gold? Maybe the time for talk is over. Maybe I can show them that there is something more important than pride and avarice and lust. Show them that bibble, R.A. I will not let you kill Thomas, Ray. Oh, dang. What it's about none that? Of your business. To yeah, get, get out of here, him, Junior. <laughs> you'll have to get past me. Oh, out of the way. Ray, for Christ's sake, he doesn't have a gun. I mean, you he does have the revolver, but alright. I'm a murderer too now, just like you. Oh dang, dark side, huh? Again, boy. Step away. Oh I'm shit. On three. One, do it. Two, no! Right! No! What the heck? Oh, whoa. Um, Bible just flying out. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, Ray, why would you do that, bro? Why would you do that? That ain't cool. What did William do to you? He just tried to make you reform alongside with Thomas. Dang, man. It's kind of interesting the Bible was just flying up in the air for a second. You like threw it up like that or something. I don't know. Oh, who's this? Is that Juan? Juan's back? Juan Mendoza? Juarez? Oh no, that's Barnsby! 
I've never been one to be superstitious, but maybe this gold is cursed. Holy shit. How is it you're still breathing, Barnsby? Exactly. How? I don't know. That Apache chief took his knife, cut my ties, and set me free. Oh, Not dang. Not a word why. Cal Calm water it actually let him go. Follow your trail. Must have been the good Lord's will. This gold will help me restore the army of the Confederate States of America. Under my command, the South will rise again, and this time we will be victorious. Aw, a bit delusional, huh? Colonel, you've lost your goddamn mind. Exactly. And I think the time <laughs> has come for you two to pay the price for your cowardice and desertion. Really? On this shit again? Come on, man. At this point, come on. Alright, anyway, that was a very interesting cutscene. A lot has happened within that cutscene, so, wow. Well, hey you guys, this is Stryker, and today we are back for the final part of Call of Juarez Bound in Blood. We are on the final chapter of the game, the finale, where we saw the McCall brothers and Marissa get to the golden treasure. The brothers were at a standoff, and William tried to stop the other two brothers from killing each other. William pulled himself in front of Ray to convince him to wake up from his madness, but then Ray shoots William when William was trying to pull out his bibble out of nowhere and try to stop Ray's unjustified goal of vengeance and justice. Ray and Thomas, with Marissa, suddenly in shock to what happened, they all just fell down knowing that they just did a wrongful action killing William, who was the one who was making them all reform, honestly. But now we see Barnsby once again, so that's an interesting one. What an interesting twist to this story. It seems that Calmwater let Barnsby go, and now Barnsby wants nothing but the heads of the McCall brothers for the desertion of their post during the Civil War and the Golden Treasure to fulfill his promise to rebuild the Confederacy. This is about to be an interesting fight, alright, so let's do this. Without further ado, this is part 15, the finale of Paula Juarez Bound in Blood. Now, which character to choose? Well, we did play as both characters in the last chapter, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the honor to Ray, since Ray seems to be the more in the more better character, the more befitting character for this end. So, let's do this. Hey! Get your ass over here, Barnsby! Crap, what the heck? Look at that gallon! Get out of here, fool! Get out of here, here, fool! Oh shit, they were shaking! Okay, I'm gonna run! Yeah! Get out of here, fool! You ain't getting to me! Thomas, you good? Okay, he's over there. Okay, good. What the heck? Oh shoot, those statues are Oh, those statues are dropping oh, dropping sand out. Crap, not good. Let's finish these guys real quick. What the hell? <laughs> you snooze, you lose! But still, what the heck, dude? We gotta leave. Let's go, let's get out of here. Hey, this will be your grave. What are you talking about, Barnsby? Where are you at, you asswipe? You sly bastard. Do we need another gun? We oh. oh, shoot, what the heck? Give me that. Oh, I can't, I can't believe we can't get that gun. We're gonna need ourselves a classic rifle. I feel like we're gonna need, we're gonna be doing some long range shooting. Guys up there shooting at us. There we go. Yeah, I'm waiting. Oh. Yeah, I'm waiting for this. I'm gonna kick your ass, Barnsby. Come on, let's go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Go, 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 go. Nah, the Lord sent me to punish you. You've been coming after us after all this time. Like, let us go, bitch. Oh, shoot. Classic rifle. Okay, let's switch this. Come on, go, 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 go. 
Oh, Marissa. I'm gonna go to. Oh. You don't deserve to live. Bastards over there. Man, what is your grudge against us, man? At this point, anyone freaking would have left at that point. Come on, man. The Civil War was bad enough. You guys lost. Man, rip Bozo to freaking Colonel Barnes, man. Come on. Can't even accept an L, honestly. Get out of here, bitch. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God, dude. I thought it was going to kill me. The dynamite. That bitch is throwing dynamite at us. I mean, Barnsby. Barnsby is literally fucking throwing. I don't want to throw freaking dynamite over there. I always want to kill um, Larissa. You show yourself, cowards. Saw Thomas, man, this guy is tough indeed. Hold on, let me switch to my rifle. Man, you are delusional as forever, man. Hold on, hold on. God dang it. Man, even with the freaking breastplate as the freaking, you know, black jacket or bulletproof armor, it still doesn't help him get. I feel like you and me. I've been for this. Barnsby is just tough, isn't he? Show yourself, Barnsby. Yeah, you're hiding behind that pillar. Hold on, I'm gonna throw some dynamite at him. Hell you! Hell you! Oh, there you go. Yeah, you a bitch. You think you got left? Come closer and see for yourself. It all ends here, Barsby. Your dreams should be buried alive. You'll die here with us. Shit, what the heck? What about the South, Barsby? You ready to let it slip away? Like, like I did with my family? Yeah, come on, man. I propose that we meet on the field of honor. Shoot, fair enough. Between me and one of you. God will protect the righteous. Or are you too cowardly to face me man to man? Oh, ho, ho. he's mine. So you're just inviting us to do it. You're inviting us for a standoff. Let's go. He's like, are you sure about that, man? Are you sure about this? He's like, is like, no. What the heck did I do? I'm so stupid. Why did I ask for this? Ray's like, you just activated my trap card, man. You about to die right now. <laughs> just look at him with regret, honestly. <laughs> we know we're gonna win this. Oh, shoot, let's do this. All right, final stand standoff against Colonel Barnsby. Barnsby, you sly bastard, how do you come back? Even though you were supposed to be killed by calm water. You a bitch, you know that? Stop your vengeance. You're just delusional as Ray, but I mean Ray is better to be honest. And he hasn't once used that sword, huh? Oh shit, no, dang it. You were too slow. Oh well, it's okay. We're gonna just do this again. Barnsby, Barnsby, Barnsby. This will be your final grave with what you've been through, trying to trying to hurt us, trying to hunt us down. You couldn't take an L, couldn't you, man? The Civil War's ended, man. Take an L and get out of here. I'd rather die. Oh shoot! It's like, oh no! What happened to me? 
That was too slow! Yeah, man, you dropped down to the ground. Come on, man. Yep, and he is gone. Faded away from history. Nice, we did it. Let's go. There were three of us in those bitter days, and each of us would have braved the fires of hell for the other. No one could stand against us when we stood together. Three brothers. William, well, he was the best of us. Exactly. A man of faith. He sacrificed his life to deliver me from evil. More like the Savior too. himself, dying for our sins. Like Running River, who spared the murderer of his own child. William wanted me to find the Lord, and in his sacrifice, I did. Oh, we left the gold. We knew it was cursed. I put away my guns and dedicated my life to serving the Almighty. I became the preacher my brother William always wanted to be and joined Thomas and Marissa in holy matrimony. William, I know you're looking down on us, and I want you to know your passing was not in vain. And though nothing is like it used to be, one thing remains, we are still a family. Hey, good, we got a happy ending. Very good. Nice. Look at that, the medallion. Marisa is having around her neck. Alright, there you go. D and that is the finish, the finale of Call of Juarez Bound in Blood. All right, you guys, that was a great walkthrough of this game. This game was really amazing. I think Techland really did really well with this game, honestly. And considering this is a prequel to the first Call of Juarez game that was released back in 2005, and that game is really good, too. So after all, you do want to play... I mean, if you can play them in order, that's fine. But if you play them like this, you play um, Bound in Blood first and then play call Juarez 1, then yeah, of course, it's going to be even better. But the point is, is that this game is really fantastic, really good. The graphics back in like 2009 for this game, I mean, yeah, sure, it's, you know, it's um outdated now, but still, the game was pretty good overall. So Techland, I think you guys did really good on this. This was a really good game overall. Good story, great story, um, good, great characters even, and just overall, just there's a lot of a lot of fun to be honest. I had fun with this game, so I'm glad I enjoyed this. And I hope you guys enjoyed too. So yeah. Alright, I'm gonna skip this over, so let's do this. Also, these guys did amazing, all these guys. I know like Techland is actually a really small team of guys, so bravo to all these guys, honestly. They did really well making this game, honestly. Especially for how long this game is. This game's like probably like 10 to 12, 10 to 12, maybe 15 hours long. So depending on how well, how fast you play it. So they're really good overall. So thanks, Techland. You guys really made a good, a uh, good game here. And all right, with that, that will conclude Call of Juarez: Bound in Blood. That was a really great game. Honestly, like seriously, this game deserves some praise to be honest. I feel like a lot of people should come back to this game to be honest. I mean, I know a lot of you guys watching love this game too, so it's a really good game. I loved it. Like it's like a it's almost a 10 out of 10. There are some mechanical issues in the game, but you know what? Just due to the game mechanics, but it's a 9 out of 10 for me. So honestly, 
it's a really great game. So, so good job, Teclan, and I hope you guys enjoy too as well. Let's see, we're gonna continue here. Let's see our stats. Oh, okay, there you go. So it took us a little longer than expected, but we did do all of this. So we didn't find all the secrets, but that's all right. That's all good. We can just, you know, just find them out. So, all right, and with that, that is Paul Juarez Bound in Blood. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did, and yeah, thank you for sitting through this, honestly. This walkthrough was fantastic, and honestly, can't wait to show you guys more content like this, or if not, show some so, something else completely different. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. And if you guys haven't seen the other parts as well, the uh, the... Um, all the parts are in the description below with the playlist or if you can just want to click from the, the click on the icon you can just click there and press on the game um press on to the um sorry i can't even speak man it's just it's so stupid anyway speak um click on the icon click on the playlist and you can see all the videos from there so all right you guys i'm gonna head out now i hope you guys have a beautiful day this is striker and yeah I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.